Uh, Shannon, the world record in the indoor mile went yesterday. Can we get the American record tomorrow? I would love to. Or Saturday. Saturday, I would love to uh, bring it home. Bring home a record uh, for the U.S. I, uh, you know, I was. I, I'm not gonna lie. When I was looking at the, uh, you know, looking forward to the race, I was looking at the American record and looking at the world record, and actually pretty surprised that the world record wasn't quicker, which is partly due to the fact that the mile just hasn't been competed that often. Um, and uh, and you know, so it was one of my bigger goals. Like, okay, win the race, American record, maybe world record, but it's still my objective doesn't change because um, you know the quicker I can run, the the better. Um, and I don't know what time I'll come home with, but uh, at least to give it a shot and see if I can make that record a little bit harder. Yeah. So if if something like 417 was in the back of your mind, that must mean you you feel you're in sub four 1500 meter shape. I feel like I'm in great shape. I know my training has been good. The only question mark is that um, I haven't had a lot of races. I raced at JDL, but um, ended the mile there. But I it's a bit of an unknown quantity or quantity because you know training is one thing, but that race sharpness is something that's you know it's, sometimes it can take a bit. So I know the fitness that is there. I'm going to go out in the race and really just get after it and um, you know we'll see what I can come home with but I mean at the main press conference you talked about last year you were so on fire the first race out pretty much yeah yeah H how did that happen and I don't know which was sort of the strange thing um, I mean it ended up still being a successful season but I yeah in looking back it was it was somewhat surprising to me that JDL had been I ran a 422 there and then you know didn't run any faster ended up kind of getting sick after Milrose and you know still came home with the win in the mile and two mile at U.S. indoors, but, um, you know, definitely this year with U.S. champs and world indoors being a very important priority, we made sure to keep the mileage high in January to keep the workouts heavy. Um, I got an extra couple weeks of altitude training in December in Mexico, um, so, you know, really trying to think of, like, okay, I don't, as much as indoors went well last year, I don't want to replicate that of a high start and then kind of a plateau. So hopefully we've done a good job of, of that. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yep.